Hello everyone, welcome back with episode 6 of DIY Filmmaking. I hope you enjoyed previous week's video about music in videos. This week I will talk about camera movement. Camera movement seems very basic, but it makes most shots so much more interesting. Here, take a look. Let's talk about some of the easiest and most common movements. I found this beautiful picture on the internet showing them. First we'll go over the movements you can do on a tripod. The first movement is the tilt. This is when you move the camera vertically while locked on the same place. This is what it looks like. Up next we have the pan. Pan is shortening for panorama. This is when you turn the camera horizontally while locked on the same place. This is what it looks like. The last movement you can do while standing on the same place is the zoom. This is probably the most well known movement. This can be done completely in camera. Most cameras have the zoom function built in. Some have done the lens. It looks like this. Now we'll go in some of the more advanced camera movements. First up we have the boom, also known as the crane or lift. This basically changes the height of the camera without panning or tilting. Take a look. Next we have two movements that are pretty much alike. They are called dolly and track. This is moving the object where your camera is standing on like a tripod sideways or to the front or back. This can be easily done on a slider. This is what it looks like. Now that we have all of the tripod motions, we can go into some more movements. There is the jib, which makes the camera move up and down as well, just like the crane, but it looks a bit different. Jibs are very expensive, even if you make them yourself, so I will show you how to get the jib movement with your tripod. The first thing you want to do is to face one of the legs of your tripod in the front of you, then retract the front leg. When you loosen the top of your ball head, just as you would do while tilting, you can move your camera up and down like you see on the screen. I personally love this camera movement. Last up, we have the handheld shot. The camera can move around freely creating some awesome shots, however, it can make your footage real shaky. So, to reduce that, I built a DIY shoulder rig as you can see on screen now. I can mount my camera on it and put the steel rods over my shoulder. Now I can move the camera freely around. Here is what the shots can look like. I hope you enjoyed this week's video about camera movement. Do you have some important camera movements that I've missed? Feel free to post them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!